three signs not to trust your intuition. Now, um, first off, I, I want to say this, okay, because um, I learned a lot from my masters out in India about intuition. And I think most people, and this is the biggest problem, is that most people actually get it wrong um, because they think it's the intuition. But the real question is, what is the difference between intuition and ego and what it is that you actually want in comparison to actually that gut feeling. And so we're actually gonna break this all down with these three signs. And it's very, very important you get this. Otherwise, you keep mistaken this flow of energy and you keep thinking that, oh, my gut feeling keeps telling me this, and yet it's wrong. But before we get into it, show real. Hit it. What's up guys, it's Eric Cole here, international speaker and entrepreneur. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the three signs, right? And, and literally, I just had a quick think about this because I was watching some videos and some people were talking about intuition and I feel this gut feeling or God feeling and I feel like flowing with it. And I think also at the same time, a lot of people kind of get mixed up. They're kind of like, is this my uh, destiny calling for me? Is this universe calling for me? Or am I just kind of like wanting this thing from a maybe an ego point of view? And then I'm getting confused by the two things. Now, I always say this, there's two things that always play a part of our thinking. The first thing is what I call the non-logical logical mind. And the second thing is intuition, the real channel of that energy. But the biggest, and this is probably a shocking truth to most people, is that when it comes to intuition, and this is what my master had to tell me the hard way, is that most people don't actually have the right to talk about intuition. Now you're probably thinking, well, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? What does that mean, right? But the reason behind that is because most people are so confused in the mind, there's so much going on in there, they don't actually know what intuition is. And although at times we get this feeling and our feeling is right, but let me ask you this, have you ever had a feeling about someone, right? And then you actually found that it was actually wrong. You know, it wasn't the case. It wasn't the truth at all. And I'm sure we've all had that situation before. What does that mean? It means that sometimes we're right, sometimes we're wrong. So how do we know if it's intuition or not intuition? We can't just count the ones that are right and saying that, hey, I really trust my intuition, right? And the reason behind that is if you understand these three signs, it will change your whole perspective and you'll understand it better, right? So the first thing, is you need to ask yourself the question, this question, right? The first thing is about past experiences. What does this mean? It means if you are about to make a decision or you are trying to think and figure out whether this is your intuition or it may be something else, that something else could possibly be a past experience. For example, okay? Let's say, for example, you meet somebody, um, the love of your life, okay? And then you have an idea that they are probably this type of person. Or sometimes you may meet somebody at work and you think, I don't know what it is. I have a bad feeling about this person. Your first question you need to ask yourself is, have you met somebody that looks like this person in the past or speaks like this person in the past or even with the same name or something like that as this person? Because with that, we naturally loop back onto a past experience and we think, oh, this person must be that way. And I have this feeling about it, but it's not a feeling. It's a judgment based on past experience. So if it's actually a judgment based on past experience, that's when we should actually throw that thing out the door and then actually think on a deeper level. And how do we think on a deeper level? It's actually to actually suspend thought. And I think the easiest way actually to think about this is intuition is like this, okay? When your channel is clear and it's pure flow, you will be able to tap into that intuition. But the big problem is our brains processes 11 million pieces of information every single second and we're only conscious about 40. So what does this mean? The information is happening in our mind. So it's like a big cloud. I always say this, it's like an ocean with turbulence. Imagine that you're inside the ocean, it's got loads of turbulence going on. You can't see anything. So you don't actually have clarity. You just get mixed up by everything that's going on. But what actually happens to actually tap into intuition, the key is actually, how do you calm the turbulence? Because if you're in the ocean and you calm that turbulence, what happens? You see everything. So you know exactly the truth and it's no guessing. And so that's why, the thing that you need to focus on if you are feeling, hey, there's confusion right now, is to actually calm the mind. 
Okay. Now, the second thing we want to get into is you need to ask yourself the question, right? This is the second sign that it's not to follow your intuition because it's not even your intuition in the first place is if it's coming from an egoic point of view, meaning it's your ego. It's, it's a decision that you really want to make because you have some self-benefit from, from thinking this way or from acting this way or from approaching this situation in a certain way, right? So if it's coming from an ego standpoint, then most likely that also is an intuition because you have self-gain in this and that's why you make certain decisions and certain assumptions. Now, going on to the final thing, point number three, is if you have never played the game before, Okay, let me give you an example of this, right? So, um, let's say for example, um, I say to some people, when I can see that their destiny calling is, they've got a voice inside of them, they've got greatness inside of them, and they should be going out there impacting people's lives. I say, hey, you should step up and be a speaker. And then what happens is sometimes when I train up speakers, and in that first phase, when they're actually overcoming the fear and starting speaking, what I see a lot of people say is they say, Eric, actually, you know what? Um, after doing a few weeks of this, I, I'm, I'm actually like, there's something wrong. My, my intuition is telling me that this isn't the right thing for me, right? Let me tell you when that situation usually happens. That situation usually happens with the people who find it very, very hard to break through that fear of public speaking. So for example, they keep going on, they keep screwing up, they keep going on, they keep messing up. Think about it this way. If you've never played the game before and you're going outside of your comfort zone, how on earth will it feel comfortable? And when it doesn't feel comfortable, you feel that, oh, that's, that's my intuition calling. It's telling me that I shouldn't do this thing. But it's not. It's because you haven't played the game before. What if you were to practice that thing, you got good at that thing, suddenly you'll be telling me, oh, my intuition is telling me I should be a speaker. And I know this because I went through exactly the same journey. There was a time where I, I was like, I would go on stage and my hands were shaking, face was going red, all of this would happen. Now I kind of go and eat these presentations for breakfast, you know, because it just, because I'm used to it now. Now I feel like this is a part of my life. This is my destiny calling, this is my intuition. But in the past I thought, hmm, why is it that my gut feeling is telling me this is the wrong decision, you know? But I want you to understand it like this because this will be more um, relatable for you. Imagine um, like now when you drive a car, right? You're very comfortable doing it. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't get into the car and say, oh, my intuition is saying that I shouldn't actually learn to drive or I shouldn't drive a car. You wouldn't think that way, right? But imagine if, think about your first driving lesson. When you first got into that first driving lesson, like, was it easy? I don't know, if definitely for me, it wasn't easy because I was trying to figure out, wait a second, left hand, okay, shift gears, and at the same time, the signal, and then mirrors, and steering wheel, and left and right foot, and clutch, and all this type of stuff, and then you end up stalling, and, and, and you're thinking, hey, wait there a second, all I wanted to do was drive, why is it so difficult, right? Now, if you were actually to tap into your gut instinct, what you think is your gut instinct at that point, <laughs> and say, hey, am I supposed to be driving or not? Actually, something's telling me it's slightly off right now, and maybe I shouldn't learn to drive, you know? This is exactly the same thing. When it's uncomfortable, we a lot of the time get mixed up and think it's our intuition, when in fact it's not that at all. So back to the fundamental. First of all, you can do the three checks, make sure it's none of these things, and that's not the reason why you think it's your intuition, okay? If it's any of these three things, then you can strike it out and, and come to acceptance that it's probably not your intuition, it's just your mind overthinking, okay? Then the next step is calm the mind, right? My master always says, breath is life. Breathing is everything. Take a deep breath in and out. The more times we breathe, the more times we slow, go into slow breath and breathe, the calmer that sea becomes. The more calm that sea becomes, the less turbulence, the more clarity we have, and the more we can tap into that gut feeling, that God feeling, that universe, that power, energy channel from the universe and then we will be able to make better intuitive decisions in our life guys um i hope this video has been of some use to you if you've learned anything at all please do hit the thumbs up hit the like button also comment below let us know your viewpoints and what you've experienced out of this or whether any of this made sense to you at all also comment below let us know where you guys have tuned in from that's always nice to know i'm back in taiwan in a couple of weeks time so uh, friends of taiwan i'll see you soon and finally if you're new to this channel and you haven't already remember remember to wait there this i think this side's better hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it that's that little bell sign by the way and the reason i'm telling you to hit that sign is because 
<laughs> this year, every single day, I'm dedicated to making daily videos full of positivity, uh, business strategy, spirituality, personal development, anything to keep you inspired and entertained to help you make this year your best year yet. But for now, guys, <laughs> see you later. Ciao.